Welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco and with Martin. Hello! We are going to play a game of Frankenstein, a uh, new game where we're trying to um, build the body part of our monster out here. So we need we need a head, a torso, an arm, a leg and so on. And whoever is the first to finish their board here with the monster is going to say it's alive. And the monster is going to be alive and you win the game. And we're going to do this by sort of actioning and bidding and buying and selling cards. So what we start off here is that we are going to draw one card each and see who is the first player. And I got a five. Uh, let's see. I've got a five as well. Okay, then we keep going. Yeah. Didn't happen uh, before. That's a number three. Uh, I think I'll start then. Yeah. Uh, that's a six. Okay, so Martin is going to start these, these cards we just put in a discard pile. So what Martin can do on, your, on his turn is he can either draw a card here and buy, sell, or auction it, or he can go looting in a graveyard. But there's no graveyards yet, so... Yeah, and we both start with 12 money as well. Yeah, exactly. And we have them behind our player shields here, so it's hidden from the other one. So uh, I'm going to take a card from here, and it's a heart. So I think I'm, what I will do, I will, I will actually sell this one to the bank and get three money to it. I'll show the uh, viewers when you... Yeah. Uh, Martin's choices here was he could have bought the uh, the heart for seven money, he could uh, or he can sell it to uh, some I don't know shady dealer. Yeah. And it goes to the graveyard and he gets three money for that. And so it goes to Martin's graveyard, and yeah, he's going to be the, it over here. Yeah, it's going to be the top card of his graveyard. So that comes into play later on. So it's my turn. I am going to draw a card here, and it is a hand, lovely hand. Uh, it cost me two if I want to buy it, or I could start an auction on it. But you know, for two, that's a cheap hand. And if you want, want to know the value of different body parts, you can look at the little uh, cheat sheet we have back here. And this uh, tells me that foot, hands, arms, and legs comes at the price between two and six. Um, so yeah, there's one for two of each. One for three, one for four, two for five, and yeah. so on. So I know that that's the cheapest hand I will ever find. So Unintended. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll pay my two and I'll take it. And I will place it down here in the spot four hands over here. So I completed one out of the eight parts I need in order to win the game. So on my turn, I will take a card here and it's a head. And I can see here a head can cost anything from five till eight. Yeah. So uh, it, it's going to be a really cheap head. Yeah, it's so the only head for five. Yeah, it's uh, the only one. Yeah. So instead of selling it for two, I'm going to straight go ahead and buy it for five and I'll put five money to the bank and it's your turn. All right, so let's uh, look at this one. Here's a foot for five. Pretty expensive foot. But you know what? I'm going to do the third uh, option. You've seen Martin and me buy the cards and you've seen us sell it to the graveyard. I'm going to start an auction. So I can put out any money from between one and whatever I have for this card. And so I'm going to, I'm going to start at two. I'm going to auction it for two and Martin has a chance to outbid me. Yeah, I'll bid it for three. All right. And the funny thing is then Martin wins and he gives the money to me. Yes. And so I that's get the way, foot. Yeah. And that's a way for me to, you know, get more money as we go. And this game plays from two to five players. I have, we haven't tried it at five yet, but we would like to because I think with more players, it would be interesting to, you know, there's a lot of auctioning going on. But that was my, was my turn. Uh, I'll take a card. It's a head for seven. Now, considering everyone knows I already took a head. Yeah, if, if, when we're playing two people, it's yeah. fairly easy for me to remember that you have a head, right? Yeah. It's a bit of a memory game. With like four people, it would be harder to know who has the head. I mean, now in the beginning, it's really hard to uh, it's, re easy. it's really easy yeah. to remember that I have a head. But after a few moments more, I, I can't remember if you had a head or a foot or a Exactly, heart. yeah. So what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to sell this one for three. I'll take three money and it goes to my graveyard. Yeah, it becomes a top card. Yeah. And so what, what you can do on your turn, except for what we've been doing, is instead of drawing a card here, I could go looting in mine or another player's graveyard. And then the top card is something, I could grab this one, and then it would cost me not seven, but it would cost me nine down here. But the interesting thing is that nine could be a combination of body parts or cards mm. and money. So that's sort of, I could give up my, my hand that has value two mm -hmm. together with seven money to get that head. 
which is really funny because that means you can get a really expensive card here on your board yeah. and use that to buy an even more expensive card later on. Exactly, because you can have more. You can have three yeah. heads and you, you just need one to win, but you can have the other ones to trade. Yeah. <laughs> so more beat, but okay. So here's my, uh, it's an arm for three. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna buy that. Yeah. So. So I'll take this card here. It's an arm for four. Well, that's really nice. I really like that arm. It looks really nice too. It's a hand. It's, oh, it's a hand. <laughs> oh, it looked like an arm. Oh, okay. So anyway, I'm going to take it for four yeah. anyways. <laughs> and you really like it anyway. Yeah. Give All me right. a hand. And here's a four hand again. And I just, I mean, Martin just picked up one of these. I don't think he will be buying this. So I'm going to sell it for two. So basically when I sell it, that's it, you know, I have to consider do I get more than two if I try to auction it off. Yeah. The problem is if I start auctioning it off and Martin doesn't pay, you know, bid anything, then I have to buy it for whatever I put it out for. So. But that means you could have actually auctioned it for two and knowing that I'm not going to buy it for two, you could have actually gotten it for two. Yeah, exactly. Or, if you, or if you went to three, yeah. then I get more. You get a hand though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I get a hand. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Okay. We, we like this theme, I must say. Yeah, it's I, I pretty do. funny. Yeah. Uh, so that's a torso, and a torso will cost me seven, which is kind of on the expensive side. And there are two of those cards with a seven on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to sell this one with torso for three, <laughs> and I'll place it in my graveyard. All right. And what? How much do I need to loot to dig it up? Uh, to, to to pay for this one, it costs you nine. Nine. Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw one here. Oh, it's angry villagers. The angry villagers are yes. attacking. They don't like us uh, you know, going in the graveyard and digging out corpus. So, so this, is, I need, this is a four, which means I right away, I have to pay up a value of four. Now, this value could come from my previously gotten body parts. So I could give those up with a face value up there if I had like multiples and so on. But in this case, I'm just going to pay. I can do that a combination of four of body parts and money. I'm just going to pay four money. Now, the, the benefit here is I get to keep this card, so I can use this later on for that four to go digging in some loot pile, and I get an extra turn right away as a bonus because I defeated the angry villagers. So let's see, that is going to be a heart. Oh, it's the first heart, I think. And it's an expensive one. It's expensive, it's gonna cost eight, so it's the expensive heart. I'm just gonna sell it for four. All right, so I'll take a card here. Oh, it's a villager card, so. With a five. With a five, so that's not so good. I will simply pay five money for it. But it's a five, so actually, I will get that money back eventually in, in, a, in a way. In yeah. a way, so. Uh, and then I'll uh, take an extra turn. Oh, it's another villager card, which is what happens when you take another. Yeah, villager. then you just ignore that when you just put it in the discard pile. Yes, that's true. So we'll see here. Oh, that's actually a. That's an arm, right? That's an arm. And that's a very expensive arm. So I'm going to sell that arm for three. Okay. So let's see here. A uh, leg for six. That's an expensive leg. But I'm going to auction it off because I don't think Martin has one. So let's put it at four. I pass. Oh, that's pretty good for me as well. Then I got it for cheap. <laughs> yeah. So another one here. All right, and that's a brain, a brain for seven. And uh, I'm gonna sell that one for three. Okay. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna loot. So I'm gonna get the brain, it was uh, a nine, right? A nine, yeah. I'm get, digging it up, nine, I'm gonna pay four with this card, plus five with money. So then I got myself a brain. Hooray. Hooray. All right, so a head. I'm going to auction that head for uh, four. I'm going to pass. Okay, so I'll take that one and cost me four. And we have a torso for eight. Ooh. I'm going to sell it for four. And what's the loot value for it? Ten. Ten. And you can always go through at any point your your 
your your graveyard. Yeah. Yes, to see what you have. But you always have to leave the first card on top. Yeah, I think it's funny because you know in a lot of games like Magic Magic the Gathering and so on. Yeah, the discard pile is called the graveyard. Yeah, I mean in this game it's actually a graveyard. It is literally the graveyard, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can, if you, I don't know if you can see the the viewers here. The, the yeah, screen. it's really nice. These, you can actually uh, see a guy going screens. about in, a, in a, like a, a thunderstorm yeah, a night digger. with yeah, a grave digger, and he <laughs> kind of looks like a parody of some some movie or something. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is simply I'm gonna take uh, go into my graveyard. And I'm gonna take this arm here. Yeah. And um, it's cost me nine. So you pay with. Um... With the villager? Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to pay with... Yeah, but I can also pay with one of my, uh, yeah. my cards as well. Any combination of body yeah. part and villager. So one. it cost me seven here, plus uh, two. So that puts me up to... To nine. To nine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to draw it a heart for six. I'm going to auction that out for three. Mm, that's a really tricky one. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay four for it. it. Gives you four. Yeah. And I'll take this. That's heart. That, no, that's a brain. Now, I know that you have a brain, so you really don't want that one. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to simply sell it for uh, three. Okay. And here we have here we have a coffin. So this is a wild card. It's quite expensive, but it could go as anything on your board. Mm -hmm. So it costs 9. I think I will auction that off for 5. Because I don't think Martin has that much money left. No, you can have it for 5. Yeah, maybe I could have gone lower even. I don't know. Yes. And I can put this anywhere, so, you know, maybe put it somewhere where... And I can move this around later as well, which is nice. But I'd probably put it somewhere where the, the expensive body part should mm -hmm. go. Let's see here. That's an arm. I'm going to sell that arm for... For two? Yeah, for two. And here we have a torso for six. Let's auction that off for four. Uh, pass. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. So I'll take these back. Oh, is it alive? And it's not alive yet. It's not alive yet. <laughs> Oh, that's a brain. Now let's auction that off for uh, for two. I'm gonna pass. All you right. get it. You get it for cheap. Yes. That's not good at all. Okay, so here's another wild card. Wow. I'm gonna sell this one for five. And that's twelve to go dig it up. So yeah. Oh, that's a, an angry villager, and it costs uh, six. Six. <laughs> now, can I use to pay with another angry villager with it? I think so. Yes. You yeah. can use any card you have. So yes, card. I'm going to pay the angry villager here, and I have three yeah. money, so it costs me. It's still like you lose five in a value, sort of. Yes, I but, do. And then you gain the six, so it's like yeah, yeah. It's it's like you just the the scary thing is if you don't have money, then you need to get rid of body parts. Yeah, that's really. And they bad. go out of the game. And then they might not show up again and all that. And so. I take this one. So that's a... Yeah, I get an extra turn, yeah. That's an extra turn. Now, can I use the uh, the six to pay for this no, one? That's no, that's the thing. This is only money, money value. That's why you, you get more expensive in your graveyard. But. So I'll sell this one for three. Yeah. And a hand for six. Do you need a hand? Not really. I'll auction it off for... Uh, Two. You can have it for two. Oh, nice. It's still, I mean, it's still a six in value, right? Because I can, tra you know, use it to pay off some villagers or something, which is kind of weird thematically. But yeah, let's see. That's a a leg for two. Yeah, easily. I'll I'll, I'll take that leg. Yeah, <laughs> you two. needed a leg. <laughs> yes. Okay, so here's a leg, another leg for three. And you know what? Let's auction that off for one. For one? Yeah. And yeah, you can have it for one. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it makes... Then I... Oh, I got a three for one. Yeah. If I was sold it, I would have gotten one as well. So it's... Then what I, I don't know. It, it's just, it just made sense. 
And I'm gonna loot this body here. Okay. Uh, it cost me nine, and this is exactly what I have. Yeah. And I will say, it's alive! <laughs> okay, so Martin has filled up there with all those lovely body parts. Alright, so that is the game. That is Frankenstein. It's a very quickly played game, at least at two. But as I said, I think uh, we, we are going to try it with more people as well, because I think that could be really fun to have this whole little auction thing going on. The interaction is much better on yeah, more people. Yeah, I think so. And it's also harder to keep track of who has what body part and so on. So, you, you know, that's the whole uh, crux of the game here is this hidden information. Yeah. So, really like it. Frankenstein, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Martin for joining in. Thank you. And thanks to Draco for holding the box. And thank you for watching. Have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Breathe in. Look into these eyes. Subscribe to the channel. Now, exhale.